Mountain Urban Radio. As much as it pains me not being able to play that song, that beautiful track in its entirety, we have the female queen reggae vocalist on the line who sung that song. Queen Alicia Scott, are you with me this afternoon on Spectacular Soul? Good afternoon, I'm here. Oh wow, loud and clear. We're going to give you an applause <laughs> for that. Loud and clear. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm alright, you know. I'm alright. And you know what? I have been listening to your music now, I'd say, the last two, three years. And oh really? Thank you. I, yeah, I have. Because I like to, I've kind of made up a term which I call soulful reggae. And for me, you kind of, you kind of encompass what I call soulful reggae, right? Yeah, I can, I can, I can roll with that one. Yeah, okay, so you, I'm not, you, by me saying that, you're, you're all right with that, yeah? Yeah, no, good. I probably would maybe say the same thing. Okay, oh, good. Okay. Yeah. And I only realised very, very recently that you're from Wales. Yeah. And I can hear it in your voice. <laughs> yeah the accent's strong isn't it which is a beautiful accent and I've just had a message here from someone in Wales and she's a regular listener I call her my little Welsh flower Tracy and she's called you a Welsh sensation oh that's nice thank you Tracy <laughs> so tell me because I've never spoken to an artist in Wales period let alone a, a reggae artist from Wales so is there a thriving reggae scene in Wales um, there's quite a few, I see we have a few dancers a year, mm. um, but in terms of like recording for reggae artists and live shows, mm. I guess I tend to travel quite a lot, but Wales is very supportive of their artists. Okay. Um, so say even if I have a show in different parts of the UK, it's quite often you'll see quite a few Welsh people that have come along too, so that's always nice. That's brilliant. And I know that you are you've got a lot of people that are kind of after your musical time at the moment. So I know you're kind of under the pecking stable and you're also doing yeah. work with, with Stone Love as well. And there's been trips yeah. to, 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 to Jamaica and I'm not trying mm -hmm. to separate you from anyone here, but I think like we're going to talk about the UK reggae scene, but I think you're definitely up there for contender of queen of UK, so of UK reggae, right? Would you say that, or is that, or are you too humble to admit I, to that? I wouldn't because I don't. I feel like everybody does their own different thing, so mm. everybody's got their own um, titles for everything they do. Right. So yeah, I never want to take away from anybody else because the scene is is a wonderful scene in the UK at the moment. Right, and that's a great answer. It's a great answer. So, thank you. In terms of, tell us a little bit about yourself. So, do you just do reggae music, or do you do other genres of music? Um, so I'm a full-time artist. Um, I predominantly do reggae, mm. but now and again I'll take my hand to a few different things. But mm. I started, I've always listened predominantly to reggae, but okay. um, so I grew up in a mixed Welsh and Jamaican household. Mm. Um, but we listened to reggae all the time. Okay. So that was always what I listened to and what I grew up on. Mm. Um, but when I started singing properly and writing and stuff, it was kind of a youth club. And um, maybe the boys would like be doing different like grime or hip-hop songs and I'd write the choruses to that kind of stuff and okay. then I'd sing like maybe R&B and stuff. Yeah. Um, until I was maybe about 18 and I um, would be listening to reggae anyway so then I just started writing along to it also so that's kind of where I mostly then became more professional I would say okay. and then just um, carry on going forward with the reggae. Okay because I think um, I think a lot of our reggae artists are mainly from London um, yeah. and maybe the Midlands and stuff so it's very unusual to talk to a reggae artist from Wales. Are you well received and taken seriously, do you think? Because you're not necessarily um, from the Midlands or a huge kind of yeah. city in, in England. Do people take you seriously because you're from Wales? I'd like to think so. Mm. Um, even now, sometimes I go, Oh, you're from Wales. <laughs> and I'm like, Yeah, they're like, oh, they listen to reggae in Wales. I'm like, yeah, they do. Um, but I do get asked that question, like, Oh, well, there's, well, there's reggae stuff in Wales, well, I, I do get that quite a lot. But, um, yeah, I'd like to think I'm taking it seriously. I have to travel quite a lot. So some mm. days, even for studio sessions, I'll have to drive, like, four, nine hours mm. in a day because um, everything seems to be a bit further out than Wales when I need to do things like that. Right. Um, but, yeah, I'd like to think that if people haven't been to Wales and know what's going on here, I'd like to take a piece of Wales with me everywhere I go. So, yeah. So you're a very prou proud Welsh reggae artist, yeah? Definitely. And we love that. 
and I know you've been traveling to Jamaica. How, yeah. how, how are you received in Jamaica? I love Jamaica. So my dad's family is from Chiloni. Um, okay. So it's nice to be able to go and spend some time with my family there too. Um, yeah, I love Jamaica. I love being there. I love being a part of the scene. So mm. Jamaica is the home of reggae. So for me to go and see that I who I've been listening to forever, I get to see quite a few of them live or like um, see their studio sessions. Stuff. It's just amazing. I, I love being there. And are you well received in Jamaica? Um, I'd like to think so. I've been very, very lucky to be able to work with um, lots of different artists and musicians. Uh, like I said, I've been listening to Mm. for years i don't give too much away but yeah it's, it's been really nice and um i've just been around good vibes there so i'd like to think yeah i'd like to think it's all going well okay that's great now i'm going to ask you a question that i've i've never asked anyone before but we're in different times oh, right great. now don't be scared because i you know <laughs> <laughs> please don't be scared but obviously we're in different times right um and I don't think anyone, well, I know for a fact, I can say with confidence that each and every person that's tuned into Spectacular Soul this, af- this afternoon has never been for a period in their life like we're in at the moment, the dreaded yeah. COVID-19. How are you coping with that? Because obviously you can't perform live. You can't, yeah. the, you know, your freedom, your physical freedom has kind of been mm-hmm. taken away from you. So are you still reaching out to people musically how you how you do it what how are you overcoming the, the current covid19 situation at first it was scary because i am a full-time artist so 90 percent of my living is performing and touring wow. and obviously all that stopped now yeah um, and for me performing live is like a therapy for me so to take that away is like oh what do i do um but i kind of thought right this is what's happening. You have mm. to make the most of a bad situation. Right. So I've been doing um, lots of live sessions and they're kind of keeping me going and I would like to help I'm spreading some positive vibes to people who are also missing going to the shows. Mm. Um, so I've been doing a lot of that stuff. I'm working on like the background stuff, building content for my pages and that kind of stuff. Okay. Stuff that I wouldn't necessarily have time to do before. So mm. I've got no choice now because I'm home. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, I think it was about two weeks ago I kept banging on, I kept repeating myself, saying that there's a lot of artists, um, in particular independent artists, that must be really, not only financially struggling, but, you know, mm-hmm. musically and spiritually struggling now. And if yeah. now, now is the perfect time for all of us to download legally, um, underlining and boldening legally, and supporting artists like yourself, right? Because... Definitely. Yeah, the, 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 I can't even imagine, it. you know, you're someone who goes abroad and travels throughout the country yeah. to perform live and you literally cannot do that. And so, yeah, we're thinking of you, Alicia. It's definitely really scary. Are. It is scary. But we're gonna... I think as well, because we don't know when things are going to change, so right. we just have to kind of just go with it for now. Yeah, that's right. Well, I don't want you to go away yet because um, I want to play... Because we have got some people that are tuned in that are very, very familiar with what you've been doing. But equally, or maybe not so much equally, but we've got a few people that are not so familiar with your works. And we want them to become familiar with you. Um, And the next track I'm going to play, I just want you to give us a little intro as to why you've done it. So I'm going to play Conscious Queen, right? Mm -hmm. Which I think is a beautiful track. Thank you. and I love the whole kind of premise around empowerment and consciousness and royalty and whatever. So can you just give us a little bit of a intro to Conscious Queen? What What's the song about? How does it make you feel? Um, so for me, it was kind of like I, especially in the reggae industry, with pretty much all of the music industry, it's a, it's a male-dominated play. Right. So I kind of wanted to do a song and be like, yeah, we can... People can say, oh, you have to be put in this box and you have to do this, you have to do that. I was kind of say, well, actually, no, if you want to do X, Y, Z, you go and do X, Y, Z. Right. So it's kind of a, yeah, kind of song. <laughs> and, you know, I think that's beautiful, right? Because um, a lot of the time how some women in, in the genre are, in reggae music are portrayed is not really something that I personally can identify with. And I have to say, people that are tuned in now, I want you to check out Miss Scott's website because how she presents herself and how she looks, she looks like a conscious queen and I love that. So we're going to play the track. Thank you. And we'll talk to you on the other side of it, yeah? Okay, Okay, I'm here. It's Alicia Scott representing all the conscious queens on Spectacular Soul this afternoon um, and just showing us that just because you're in a certain genre of music, you can kind of 
act dress present yourself in a certain way because reggae music is so it's so empowering you know and alicia i just think it's wonderful you know the lyrics of that song and the message that you're trying to put across thank you i like it a lot have you got a video for that song yeah so there's a video out just on the reggaeville channel Mm. um so if you just put conscious queen alicia scott in it should come up on youtube okay but it's a message really to all women in all walks of life not necessarily just reggae just every every part of life really okay and i hope that i'm pronouncing your name correctly because you've got quite an unusual spelling of your name (laughs) so am i pronouncing your name correctly when i say alicia 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 so yeah so people are I'm hoping as soon as we end this show, I'm hoping everyone's going to rush onto YouTube and Spotify and wherever they can find you. Give us a spelling of your name, please. So it's A L E I G H C I A. Okay. So pe- everyone's going to go onto YouTube and check out the video for Conscious Queen. And of course, your brand new single, which is out now, is it? Um, yeah, so now it's been out for just over a week, and okay. it's called Jealous of the Angels. How's it going, and people receiving it well? It's going really well, so I'm really thankful. I think we got to number six on the iTunes UK reggae chart. Oh, wow. Um, and we've had loads of love from up to DJs and stuff as well, so I'm just really thankful. Mm. Um, I was quite scared to book the song out, especially in these times, but... Um, yeah, I think it's received quite well, so I'm glad. So the the track is in your brand new single is entitled "Jealous of the Angels." That is a yeah. very big title. What does that mean? Mm-hmm. So um, it's a refix of a country song, um, and it's kind of talking about losing a loved one mm. um, and kind of being jealous of the angels. How a loved one gets to be around the angels and be be an angel now instead of being around. Right. Um, you know, I think it's very appropriate. I think the timing of you releasing that song is very appropriate. Yeah. Right? It's something we had had in the vault for a while, and I just thought at this moment in time, I feel like it's quite needed. Mm. And I, I was listening to the song. I'm going to play it next. I was listening to it this morning. That's a Studio One rhythm, right? Yeah, that he knows. Um, yeah, that's the Ernest Wilson. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm brushing up on my reggae skills here. I think it's quite difficult sometimes for artists to kind of do tracks over such well-known rhythms, right? You're either going to get it really, really wrong or you're going to do the track justice. And I personally think, and I'm not just saying it because you're on Spectacular (laughs) Soul this afternoon, you know what I'm going to say next, right? I think you've done Ernest Wilson and Studio One a huge honour in Thank your you so brand much. new single jealous of the angels and we're going to play that for you next play that for the listeners next and after we play it everyone's going to rush out and buy it so where can they where can they buy this single you can find this everywhere it's on itunes amazon deezer apple music spotify all those places brilliant brilliant so we're going to play the track and we're going to send you to number one in the reggae charts. <laughs> Thank we're going to, you. We're going to move you from number six to number one. It's a beautiful track. Thank you. Hey, that Studio One bass line is doing some serious things to me in the studio. Well done, Alicia. We're hoping, we're hoping that all the Spectacular Soul and Luton Urban Radio listeners are going to put you in num- the number one reggae spot on so they can download your track from amazon google play all those usual places itunes yeah yep everywhere right because this track i think you've done it i think you've done ernest Will- wilson and studio one a massive 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 yeah it's, it sounds great i love it and i love what you're singing about jealous of the angels and like i said to you i think it's very yeah, so I'm, it's sensitive, the subject, but I keep saying I think music's going to get us through this. It's going to help us get us through this, yeah? Yeah, definitely. Okay, I have a personal favourite of yours, which I'm going to play next. Um, I just like the track. I think your voice goes over the rhythm nicely, and yeah, I'm going to play that next. But I do want to thank you for coming on Luton Urban Radio this, this afternoon. And anything else you want to tell the listeners that are tuned in? Um, about the Valish tune or uh, just in general about oh, okay. the future about you what we can expect from you um, so I've been 
with my lot of stuff kind of behind the scenes as well. Obviously, mm. thank you very much for having me on the show this afternoon as well. No problem. Um, so I've got an album that's going to be coming soon. I've been working with Rory Stone Love. So the album is finished. Um, it's due to come out of mix very, very soon. Yeah. Um, but obviously, the way the world is happening at the moment, we're going to try and try and work out the data when we're going to release because we had the idea in mind and then it kind of got pushed back because mm. of the things that are and aren't open at the moment. So bear with me. That's coming very soon. It's finished and it's almost ready to go. Mm. Um, but I'm hoping to have another single release uh, in the next few weeks as well. Wow. Um, this won't be from Rory Stone Love Production, but it will be a single by itself. Um, so, yeah, it'll be, be an original song. Mm. Um, so I'm hoping to get out to you guys very soon. But apart from that, I just want to give thanks to anyone who supports my journey because it's very appreciated. No, brilliant. And, you know, keep churning out the music. Um, we're going to keep trying to get people to support you because this is your profession and you're good at it. Thank and you. Yeah. Thank you for waving the flag for reggae music. Yeah? Thank you. And I'm going to play my favourite from you, Treat Me Right, next. Um, yeah, I just I just love the lyrics and I love your voice on it. But whatever you're doing for the rest of the afternoon, Queen Scott, enjoy it, yeah? Thank you. Have and, a good day. Yeah, and keep in contact with us. See you later. Definitely. All right. Bye. Bye. So I'll go. A song that we should be singing to all our daughters and nieces. The wonderful sounds of Miss Alicia Scott. Track is entitled Treat Me Right. But equally, it's a two-way thing. Women have to treat men right as well. Anyway, um, I've enjoyed this afternoon. It's been a little bit different. We, we tried to do it a little bit differently. So we, we've given you what we, we always try to do, give you some 2020 new soul and some familiar tracks. And we just, as we had our special guest on, Miss Alicia Scott, we've tried to give you the soulful reggae selection. And I, I wish her big, big things, you know, and I'm not dwelling on the negative, but I think there's too many um, artists... In not just in reggae actually in hip-hop soul whatever that rely on a certain lifestyle or a certain look to achieve greatness and it just goes to show you don't have to um she's a very beautiful lady and i love how she presents herself so i wish her all the very best for the future um thank you for joining me on spectacular style i actually need an assistant but we're social distancing so there's so many messages i haven't even read and i and i'm not I'm not airing anyone. I'm not ignoring anyone. I appreciate you all. Um, and remember what I said. Just even if Boris says to us, we can come out of our yards tomorrow. Don't do it. Don't tell me it's over. Keep safe. I want to hear and see you all next week. Yeah, keep safe, everyone. Keep picking up the phone. Keep checking up on people. Keep looking after yourselves. And yeah, I love you all. See you next week.